It was as recently as 2018 that the UN was reviewing the deployment of South African National Defence Force troops to peacekeeping missions over growing concerns of misconduct and indiscipline within its ranks. But now the UN is full of praise for the country's efforts in turning things around. This is really a partnership. This is something that uh, uh, we can overcome only by working very closely with our member states. I think South Africa is really an example of uh, um, uh, how uh, a member state can be proactive, effective and uh, helpful in finding new solutions and uh, you know, making sure that uh, we collectively improve our response to uh, uh, misconduct and SEA and uh, and together with the DMSPC and uh, our own colleagues at DPO, of course, our colleagues in the field, uh, we are, I think, uh, determined to, to build on what we've already achieved. As part of its turnaround strategy, South Africa signed in 2018 a voluntary compact on preventing sexual exploitation and abuse with the UN Secretary General. While a national ministerial task team was created in 2019, to review all cases of SEA in the South African Armed Services. While the government more broadly instituted a zero-tolerance approach within the military ranks. One of the outcomes of that task team was a maintenance support strategy that is aimed at dealing with paternity and maintenance claims. And I must say that as much as we are focusing, and I was asked to focus on, 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 on paternity and maintenance, uh, it should be known that we really are taking some serious other measures in the space of prevention, in the space of enforcement, and of course the remedial, which is what I'm talking to you about today. Joini indicated that the government's approach to address SEA was victim-centered while rooted in transparency and accountability to ensure prevention and justice. The key aspects or key elements of that strategy, the first one has to do with the collection of DNA samples from all members prior to deployment and this has been happening since 2018 and that a uh, collected DNA can be utilized for a number of investigations, including paternity uh, uh, identity. The second element is that um, uh, the chief of staff of the South African Defense Force uh, has been appointed as the paternity focal point to receive and advise victims and their legal counsel on the seeking of relief under the South African legal system. <laughs> The UN has warned that any misconduct by its blue helmets undermines the trust between peacekeepers and the communities they serve, while hampering the implementation of UN mandates. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.